Well, you know it's that time. It's time to play an Everett Dirksen clip. Um, Bernie Sanders has been saying that a large voter turnout will be good for Democrats, and a small voter turnout will be good for Republicans. If we're ready to roll the tape, here's what Everett Dirksen has to say about voter turnout. It isn't enough for you to vote on election day. There are too many indifferent and careless people in this country who either forget or who are disinclined or who do not care and somehow do not make their vote count. The Census Bureau says there are 107 million eligible voters in the United States as of November 8th this year. The Associated Press poll makes allowances, of course, for people who travel abroad and who, for various reasons, are not available to vote and reduce it to some 89 million. And yet in 1956, in this blessed free republic, only 62 million bothered to go to the polls. And that's not great shakes for the greatest free country on the face of the earth where every man is a king and every woman is a queen because the Constitution makes you that. Well, I can't say anything better than that. Uh, but I can introduce the um, winner of this year's Everett Dirksen McKinley Award for Best Reporting of Congress, and that is Matt Fuller of the Huffington Post. And it's, um, this is the first year that an online news organization is the uh, sole winner uh, of the Dirksen Award for Best Reporting of Congress. And, um, no broadcast, no publishing, an online news organization. I'm not sure what Everett Dirksen would think about that. But uh, there, there is one thing uh, that doesn't change. Um, whether it is the Huffington Post or Politico or Diane Rehm on the radio, every journalist worth their salt still has to do the legwork and still has to go to the stakeouts, and still has to get those interviews, and stay up late, and get up early, and shake the hustings to get the information that they're going to put online, on air, or in their publication. Matt is one of those people, and that is why he's receiving the award tonight. I'm guessing he spent about uh, 200 hours in stakeouts when he was covering um, the uh, Freedom Caucus. And he, um, he provided us with some excellent reporting. And it was a, an honor and a privilege to be a judge uh, to read your work. Matt Fuller. Thank you. Uh, I first just want to say this is an incredible honor that I do not deserve. Um, when I got the call from the National Press Foundation, uh, it was my first day at the Huffington Post. Uh, and my phone rings with some random 202 number. And I pick it up and, uh, you know, hi, this is Sandy Johnson with the National Press Foundation. Uh, do you have a couple minutes to chat? And being the perceptive reporter that I am, um, you know, I'm just getting on the Metro. Um, can I, can I call you back? Oh, four, five, seven, six, got it, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I blew her off. Um, that's how far the Dirksen was from my mind. Um, I figured she was trying to sell me a membership to the Press Foundation. Um, so the next morning she called me again, and I thought to myself, this woman is good. Uh, she should be on Wall Street cold calling the people with the real dollars here. 
Uh, needless to say, I was pretty shocked when I found out that they were trying to give me an award, and I think it's safe to say I wasn't the only one who was shocked. Not to hammer home this point too much, but when one Freedom Caucus member found out I was, I'd won the Dirksen, uh, he's giving me the standard congratulations, and, and I have to tell him, look, no, you know, I don't deserve this. Um, and this very conservative Republican member of Congress uh, had the heart to tell me, he says, Matt, you deserve this award at least as much as Barack Obama deserved the Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> So I, I got that going for me, which is nice. And, uh, <clears throat> I do want to say, uh, if, if there's anyone who deserves this award, it's my former editor, David Eldridge, Eldridge the man who, who put my hat in the ring for this thing. Um, David is one of those editors who can take your, your words, your, leave your weird, quirky essence, uh, and still make it so people can understand you. Uh, but more than just a line editor, he was a tireless advocate, a traffic cop, a friend, a philosopher, and a great boss. Um, I also have to thank the Freedom Caucus because I would have never been as interested in this group if they had just provided a roster of who was in it. Um, <laughs> it's a lesson for transparency. Uh, it was the secrecy that drove me to, to what was basically an obsession with these people, uh, which is what I think uh, ultimately what, what the best journalism is, it's just a, an obsession. Uh, I have the Freedom Caucus to thank for that because someone telling me I couldn't know something when all it would take was a little shoe leather reporting didn't sit right with me. It ended up taking a little more shoe leather than I thought, uh, certainly a lot more tortilla coast meals than I thought, uh, but covering the Freedom Caucus continued to be interesting because I was watching in real time a group uh, find their message and flex their muscle. I was seeing what this group could be, namely a coup against John Boehner way before it ever was that, and, and in fact I'm not sure it ever was that. Uh, the rise of the House Freedom Caucus and the fall of John Boehner, Boehner are related but separate things, and I think that's worth acknowledging. And I could talk about that for hours, and I won't, but I could, and I'm not bragging. Um, but <laughs> I do want to thank my girlfriend Patricia for putting up with so many of those late nights, my old colleague Emma Dumain, who picked up so much of my slack as I was chasing these guys, my family, my mom and dad, my sister and my godmother who all traveled here to be here tonight. Uh, I'm fairly confident the only person who could compete with how happy David was to hear about me winning this award was my mom. Um, <laughs> yes, please clap. Uh, uh, I also want to thank the so many of the people at CQ Roll Call who taught me so much about Congress. I want to thank the Huffington Post for letting me continue to do this work that I love. And I want to thank the National Press Foundation for this award, their commitment to supporting and recognizing good reporting and my undeserving reporting as well. And finally, Sandy, I'd be happy to sign up for a Press Foundation membership. Thank you. <laughs>